Welcome back, everybody. It's always fun to find new ways of making beverages, and today we're venturing into some pretty wild territory. Have you ever heard of putting raw egg or vinegar in your beverage? Our next guest swears it's so good you'll wonder why you haven't tried it before. Please welcome mixologist Ryan Margarian. How are you? Good. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to be here. So let's see. What are we starting with? Let's what? start with the bird of paradise. Bird of paradise. Well, for today we are liquid cooking, and uh, what we're going to start with is uh, a drink that adds egg, and what that does. Are actually egg white. Okay. And it adds great texture and body to a drink and it lengthens some of the intense flavors. It's fantastic. Lengthens so, the flavors. You I, know he's a mixologist. <laughs> right? So it's, what's already in here is Aviation American Gin, okay. Dolan Dry Vermouth, uh, fresh raspberries, and I'm going to add Ooh. some eggs. So I'm just going to crack it. Just the white. Just the white. Is that I'm right? Do it super carefully. Just see, this is why they pay me the medium the bucks. <laughs> All right. Throw that and now I'm going to add this beautiful large format ice so we don't over dilute the drink. Now we talked about that Actually. before we came on the air. See the the big ice cubes and he's got really huge ice cubes over here and explain to me why. Oh, that's okay. So having big ice is great because what it does, it's not, uh, it doesn't dilute as fast. It keeps okay. everything cold, but it doesn't make it watery. So uh, what we're doing here is we're doing, uh, well, what was supposed to be a dry shake. You want to shake uh, without ice uh, to get the air into, mm -hmm. the, uh, into the drink. So I'm going to do that real quick. Right. I actually made a mistake Look by adding that. a little bit of ice. That's to all get right. The, get those guns going, and then that's we're going <laughs> to reshake it real quick with more ice. To, uh, I love those pretty ice cubes. And wait till you see oh this. Oh my drink. gosh. You're going to lose it this, when you see this problems. drink. No All wonder right. you have such big arms. Okay. All right, what we're going to do here is just going to sort of semi strain it. Yeah, I'm going to add a touch this. of soda. And we're going to do kind of a semi strain here All over. All right. See how and it should be there. very Ooh, pretty. How pretty is that? Yeah, it's, it should be sexy as heck. So we're not going to put the whole raspberry, just those yummy pieces. Yes. That's okay. We gave you a hard glass. To yeah, try you know, some bird of paradise. People, look at that. And so it gives you kind of that creamy. Yeah, just that big, rich texture. Good weight, tactile sensation. Is it okay if Tacti I will sit? Absolutely. <laughs> Let me clean that up at the same time. I don't even care. Tactile sensation is a real important part of, especially with drinking, you know, just adding mm. these layers that yeah. make the palate happy and Ooh, that's delicious. put a big smile on. And so. you're giving us your recipes, Indeed. which I love. Okay, so now, um, drinking vinegar. Oh my goodness. Well, I, you don't want to do it just by itself. Not just vinegar. No, no, you don't not, just wake up no. and hit the vin. I mean, I, I, I've stopped doing that. <laughs> Glad. Yeah. So there's a way to make. Uh, you've made an applejack this shrub. This is an is that applejack right? shrub punch. So what a shrub is is essentially adding fruit and vinegar together. They used to do this to preserve the fruit okay. and a little bit of sugar. And what I like best about adding vinegar to a mixed drink is that it does again, once again, talking about tactile. It adds that kind of tactile spark to a drink. Wow. So it adds that kind of three-dimensional layer that really kind of reaches out and grabs you and, and makes it really, really memorable. So this drink has, uh, again, it has aviation. It has some of the shrub, mm -hmm. Fernet Branca, which is uh, an Amaro uh, mm -hmm. from Italy, which mm -hmm. has got its mm -hmm. own little crazy thing going on. Uh, some freshly pressed lime, uh, a little bit of Peychaud uh, New Orleans bitters, and wow. uh, some club soda. And is now, pardon me for asking what's probably a dumb question, but it's is drinking vinegar different than vinegar vinegar? Yeah, so drinking vinegar is something that you're starting to see quite a lot, lot of, which is, it's actually a lot like a soda with a little bit of vinegar added to it okay. to give it kind of that, that, that kind of lip smacking. Really? Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> That looks awfully good. Okay, jam syrup. We're going to make a jam berry fizz. That sounds like that's right up my alley. Let's yeah, we're see getting how that so does. crazy right now. So uh, one of the other things you can do. Uh, one of the great things about jam is you know it's you can put it away and it's going to last a long time. Mm -hmm. You can preserve fruits that are are not in season. So what we like to do is create a little jam syrup, which is simple syrup added to some jam today, okay. and we've got some strawberry jam. And in this, in the jam berry fizz, we've got uh, a little bit of the uh, apple cider, uh, the sparkling apple cider. Right. Some Club soda, aviation, lemon, and orange juice. And it's uh, really easy to do this. You can just kind of pour the syrup there and you can either shake it or you can just, just stir, stir it, up it up really good or put it in a blender. But uh, this is just to give you an idea of kind of just so you know Part to integrate it. This is probably together. not how we'd want. We'd probably throw it into some expensive RoboCube kind of thing at home. But uh, <laughs> for now, this is working pretty well. Just but we're just it. demonstrating today. And I so. love the idea of this beautiful presentation with the punch cup and the fruit. Was that a hint that you wanted to drink, um, a I, I certainly won't All object right. to it. I just yeah. think that's really, you know, that's part of the drink, right? Or it, you've absolutely. got beautiful... 
I, presentation with all of these drinks. I That's always gorgeous. say that you drink with all five senses. Your eyes, your nose, Absolutely. you hear the shaker shaking, you smell all the exactly. stuff you mentioned. You smelled everything. So. And we have only about 30 seconds, right, but I have to out. have to have you show us this. The muddling with the, the lemon, the mint. It buggy, smells so good, all of this. Buggy whip punch. So this is a really delicious, bright summer uh, offering. And uh, for our sweetening agent, what's really unique about this mixed drink is we use something called oleosaccharum, okay. which is made by taking peels yes. and sugar and grinding them together. That's our sweet okay. component. And finally, we're going to add aviation, some uh, cucumber, some mint, some fresh lemon, and soda. And uh, this is something you can drink all afternoon and late into the evening. That looks delicious. And you've got this the big, huge ice hunks. Now, are there trays where you can make Absolutely. big ice like that? You can find them at, I know you can go to like Sur La Ta, but I'm starting mm -hmm. to see them at grocery stores all over the country. That's I think this whole quality ice thing is kind of catching on, and, and I hope it continues to. And a punch just a fun idea. Heck yes. You know, at a party. Everybody can serve themselves. Uh, thank you so much. My pleasure. Delicious. If you'd like to get these recipes, please visit our website. Click on the recipe section, and then that takes you over to the Kitchen Monkey site where you can download the recipes and even download the shopping list for them. Now next up, the author of the Happy Wives Club tells us what she learned on a global search for the keys to a happy marriage. We'll be back with her in just a moment. Yeah.